So, will AI replace software development in the next two months? Okay, so most of you know, but I'm just joking around. There's an article in Forbes, it says, software ate the world, now AI is eating software. I will link to it below. So if you want to, you can read it. But let me give you the uh, short version. Essentially, they're talking about the growth of AI. And they're saying AI is really accelerated quite a bit over the last uh, 10 years. And they're saying it's about to go into a hyper accelerated wave, if you will. And they give a few reasons why all this is starting to happen. So number one, number one they're saying that the computing powers is much better. You got AI designed chipsets. Apple talked about that in their iPhones and everybody's doing it now. So you got much better processing power for the machine learning for the AI. Second, you got a lot more data out there. Maybe you don't know, but for AI to work, it needs a lot of data. So somebody, so the nerds came up with these things called data links, lakes, data lakes, where all this data is pooled so that you can throw your AI at it and the AI can learn. The more data, the better the data, the better the data is uh, segmented, the better your AI will operate. Uh, the third reason is that uh, the AI algorithms are just getting better, which, which is to be expected, right? And lastly, they said that the cost of cloud storage and you know networks, et cetera, is just much cheaper. So a lot more can be done. And you're seeing that, for example, I'm in Montreal, Canada right now. There's a lot of AI work being done up here. I have um, a friend of mine who's doing his uh, master's degree in AI is talking to me about that. I have one friend who has a company he's been doing for five years. They're exclusively AI. He has an AI engine targeting a very niche application. I have another friend who has uh, AI-based stuff as well. They've been doing it a couple years, and uh, they gave me some good insight, which I'll talk about once I go through some of these uh, points brought up in this article. Anyhow, so in the article, they give a couple examples of AI implementations as it affects software development and coding. So they talk about this Tab 9 project, which I mentioned before. A bunch of nerds, well, a couple guys, basically took their AI, pointed it at 2 million GitHub files, and now they have a plugin which you can plug in, and the AI can do code completion uh, much more effectively, they claim, than traditional code completion. So that's cool. So AI, AI is making it easier for you to code. Fantastic. They talk about another example where uh, they use a, a type of deep learning where the AI analyzes text and then is able to generate uh, SQL um, queries against the database without you having to write the SQL. I think that's great. SQL can be uh, uh, can be tricky to write, especially if you're doing more complex um, data extractions, like you know inner joins and outer joins, and so off, so on, so on. When to use one or the other, etc. So if you could, um, if there's an AI out there that you can, you know. Tell it, you know, I need this, this, and this, and it writes the SQL. That was fantastic. That'd be great. Of course, you already have something that does that to a certain extent. Uh, ORM tools, object relational mapping tools, which obfuscates the whole, well, a big part of the need anyway of having to write SQL. ORM still always have a bypass where you can write your SQL code directly because the ORMs are not perfect, but they can save a lot of time. So this AI SQL generating tool works well. Fantastic. Um, they also mention another AI that translates a sketch that you provided into code so you can build yourself a website. Now, again, don't get worried about this because I can tell you right now, having not having looked at it directly, that, uh, yeah, I'm sure it could develop a skeleton of a website, but I, I can tell you right away that it's not, you know, it's based on uh, HTML, CSS, of course, JS, and Vue. Web design and development in terms of the front end. The hard part is not the code. The hard part is to make it look good and to make it work well in terms of user experience. These are dark arts to especially UX. So in these examples I just cited, they're not replacing developers, they're just assisting developers in the process. But anyway, the article goes on. I won't get into it here. Long before AI replaces software development, it's going to replace truckers, replace uh, accountants, many legal jobs, many medical jobs, 
You get the idea. So long before it gets to developers, AI will have replaced huge parts of industry. And as a result of that, I don't know how they're going to do it at this point. Uh, the entire infrastructure of society will have to be uh, modified accordingly. So I wouldn't worry about it because there'll be warning signs years in advance before developers will be taken out by AI. So embrace AI. It's going to help us with some drudgery in the, in the coding process. Who wants to write boilerplate code? I don't. I remember back in the 90s, just to give you an idea of what we don't have to do anymore, thank B to the nerds. Uh, just, I was on a project, I remember, uh, we were building a web app for a publicly traded company, a large telco, and one of my colleagues, he had to build a date picker object for the web app. There was no jQuery, there was none of this stuff, no HTML5, it was the HTML 3.2 days or maybe 4, oh, I'm not sure. And uh, it took him like two weeks to build a date picker. Two weeks, you know. Thanks be to the nerds that we have jQuery or we have HTML5 date picker, right? Who wants to do that? So same thing with SQL. If you have an AI that can generate better SQL quicker, easily, fantastic. Who wants to write inner joins and outer joins? Trust me, I've sat there for like, half an hour, an hour, trying to write an optimized query. So that'd be kind of cool if the AI would do that, you know what I mean? So there you go. Don't worry about it. Not a big deal. All right. It's now, to give you context, it's now Friday around 6. I got to go to the gym. I got to go to the gym. All right. We'll talk soon.